Hi everybody, this is Tina with Rehatch Designs. Hope everybody's doing well today. I am here today with a video um, uh, with our um, Christmas in July. And I kind of told, if you watched my last video, um, I talked a little bit about how I wasn't gonna be able to do everything I had planned on doing um, because it, what looks like we're going to be going out of town that I had not planned on that um, in July so I'm going to try and do as much as I can but I also have decided I'm not going to do the things that I talked about just because I went back and looked through my playlist and I've already done most of those things um, and I'm what I'm going to do is I am going to link in the description box those videos um, on the Christmas cookbook, um, the paper bag journal, and the ring binder, uh, the ring, the other ring journal. Um, just because um, I just, I don't want to repeat what I already did. Um, two of them are Christmas and one of them is not, but you just apply the same thing and use Christmas things. So I thought, why don't I do something different, um, you know, so that at least we're learning new things or or I am so um, in any case what I want to do today is I want to um, do a flip-flop journal but not with envelopes just with um, with some uh, Christmas uh, uh, scrapbook paper so anyway I have some and it's double-sided it probably works better if it's double-sided you can use um, single-sided and go back and um, you know uh, uh, what do you call it uh, you know cover the white part of it or coffee dye it if you want to you could do that but it's really easier if you have um, a double-sided uh, cardstock um, especially if it already coordinates uh, I bet a lot of you if you go through your stash you will find that um, if you don't have that, you could also use um, uh, just a file folder and just do it to the same dimensions. It would work the same. In fact, in some ways it might be easier. Um, but anyway, I am going to use cardstock and this is just, um, just some stuff I have. This is Home for the Holidays um, by Echo Park. I've had it forever. Um, and these are just like some pieces that I have left over. And I also have some extra pieces um, of paper. And um, I have some stickers that I might use. Um, so if you have any of that, it would work great for this project. Um, this is a quick and easy project so that um, it's something that you may want to make um, several of, maybe give them away as gifts. So um, we're going to start with, I'm using my paper cutter and I'm going to take off the branding strip first on all of these and we will just do that and then we're going to go ahead and start our process. But anyway, we're going to be using three pieces of, of the scrapbook paper for the base. And then, of course, any other pieces that you want to use to add pockets or um, tucks or anything like that, belly bands, you name it. Um, oh, it didn't cut all the way. Or did it? Oh, just a little bit down here it didn't. I'm going to just get that in there and cut it. I don't know what the deal is there. Okay. So, um, basically, to do this, I am going to use as a template um, an envelope, or several envelopes. I've got two envelopes here, and this is what I use to make my envelope journals. So, I'm going to make them about the same size, but we're just not going to be using the envelopes. We're just going to be using this to measure, um, and this envelope is... It is four inches by 
almost nine and a half. So I'm going to call it four inches by nine and a half. Um, if you want to make it taller or wider, you can. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go. I think I'm going to go four by ten because. Well, let me see. No, I'll go four by nine and a half because that way when I fold my papers, yeah, we'll just go four by nine and a half. It's a little bit taller than what um, it would be. So anyway, what I want to do first is I want to cut off the height on all of these. Okay, so I if my paper is going directionally, then I want to make sure that I cut, you know, the top or the bottom off so that when it's done, it is going to be going in the right direction. Okay, this one would not matter really, but these, um, I think it would matter. So we're going to basically take all three of these and make sure that we do it at nine and a half. Let's go right here. So we're going to go nine and a half. And I'm going to do these individually because I know it will cut better. That's one. And save these pieces because we can certainly use those and we will use them. And nine and a half. Get in there good. Okay. And nine and a half. I guess that's the way we want it to go. Okay, nine and a half. All right, so we're going to have these pieces, and we definitely want to save those. We can use them later. And then what we want to do is we want to get our pieces that we just cut and we are going to glue these together. I've got to kind of decide, you know, look at it and say, okay, so what do I want where? I don't know if I want two green pieces next to each other. Let me see what we got here. Those two look, eh, I don't know. Got that in the middle. That that way. That that way. So what if we go like that? I'm trying to think what's going to be my front on this and what's going to be. All right. So we kind of have to decide what we want our front to be. And I kind of think I want it to be this. So we're going to use that as the first piece. So what I'm going to do is I am going to take my glue stick um, and I am going to take, I am going to overlap this about an inch um, and I'm just going to use my mat. It doesn't have to be perfect but about an inch. So I'm going to put glue stick on here. And my glue stick sticks pretty good. So if your glue stick is not a good glue stick, then you may want to use another glue. So then I am going to, I'm going to use this to line it up a little bit. Hopefully it won't be dry by the time I get it done. And then I'm going to put that down there, there and then have that up there for one inch. Let's see, that looks about right. A little crooked on the bottom. Okay, so there we go, that's that. And then we're going to take um, this last one and we're going to overlap it. 
can go either way. It doesn't really matter because in the end, you're gonna not those seams aren't gonna even really be seen. So we're gonna go ahead and put our glue here. and go about one inch and it doesn't have to be exactly an inch but you do whatever you think you want to do and I can tell that's crooked right off the bat there we go it's still a little crooked Okay, let me move it over a tiny, tiny bit. There we go, that's better. Okay, so now that we've done that, we have our uh, one big long piece, okay? And what we're gonna do now is we are gonna go ahead and we are gonna score this on our scoreboard. And I'm trying to do this to where it doesn't, you can see. Let me get my little scoring tool if I can find it because I really like using it better. Okay, so I'm going to score this at four inches, okay? So let me move down so you can see. So I'm going to go four inches. Okay. And then I'm going to go eight inches. Sometimes I go twice just to, all right, let me do that again. And then we're going to go 12 inches, okay? So that's probably going to be right at your little line here. That one definitely want to do twice. Okay. Now, before we score any more, what I'm going to do is I am going to start to fold this. And I am going to fold this first one back like this. I'm going to get my bone folder. Okay. Then I'm going to take the next one, just like an accordion. And I'm going to go in like that. And then I'm going to take this last one here. And that's where the seam was, so... All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this and put it back over here, okay? And we should be right at four. It's going a little bit after. Okay, let me do this. That's because it's bulky right there. So we're going to go, we're going to take this to the last score line. Probably be better if we flip it over and put that right to the edge, right in the edge there. We want to get it all the way to the edge, or like you can use a ruler and measure four inches. You don't have to have a scoreboard, it just makes it a little bit easier. Okay, so we're going to go right in there, it's got right in there. So we're going to go four inches again. Is that straight? Yeah, four inches. Then we're going to go another, go to the eight. All right, and then we're going to go to 12. All right, and then we're going to fold those. I like to use my bone folder. Um, you could use the edge of a scissor, anything to fold these. All right. So where's the last one right there? Okay. So that gives us. Let's see. One, two, three. Okay. 
Then what we're going to do is this last one right here. We are going to go ahead. Let me make sure I did that right. Okay, we got one, two, three, four, five. That's right. This last one right here, we are going to cut this off right at the four inch mark. But I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to go ahead and just do this with. Now you could make it keep going and adding more on if you wanted to. Um, in fact, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and score this. And then I'm going to score it at the 4 and I'm going to score it at the 8. Okay. There we go. And I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just take this and cut off this very, very last part right here. Okay. So let me move my scoreboard out of the way. So this very last part that we did, I'm just going to use the, well, actually, probably turn out straighter if I do this, because I'm a terrible, 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 terrible cutter. Okay, wrong side. So this last little bit, I'm going to go ahead and put it in here. Do it on this side. I can't really see the line. Okay, we're right there. Mm-hmm. Okay, that looks good. All right, and again, save all your pieces because we may use it later. So at that point, we have another little fold. So we need to fold that. And I did this one a little bit. There we go. Is that off? No, looks about right. Okay, so this last one that we did is going to end up being glued and made uh, shut there. Okay, that's about right. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so in the front, and this is just a little bit different than we would do um, with the envelope thing because you know how you, you have your pockets that you make with it? Well, we're going to do that with this. So I am going to get my punch, my circle punch, get it out, and I am going to go approximately in the middle. This is the front, and let me open it first, that'd be good. Okay, and I'm going to go in the middle. Actually, you know what? I want these both to be in the same spot. So I am going to line, this is the back, the one, the last flap, and this is the front flap. And I'm going to take those two and put them together. That way they're, they're the, in the same spot. And I'm just going to approximate in the middle and make a notch. I'm not making a big one, I'm just making a little one. There we go. So that makes it the same on both, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I am going to glue this here. Let me get my, and I'm using my art glitter glue, but you can use whatever glue you want. Um, let me move all the stuff out of the side. So that is just, I'm just doing this right here on both sides. So I'm making a pocket and this is in the very front. Oh, you know what? We needed to do, well, we can still do it. We, pro we should have done another step before this, so I'm not going to worry about it yet, though. It doesn't really matter. We can do it later. Okay, so then we're going to do the other pocket right here. So we're going to have a pocket in the front and a pocket in the back, basically, or the two fronts. I call them two fronts. Okay, so that automatically gives us, all right, this is going to give us when you open it up, it's going to give you a spot here, 
spot here for papers, here, 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 and here. So you can have a total of five signatures in there if you want, okay? Um, I don't know whether I would do that. I might just do four, but we'll see. The other thing that you can do if you want is when you do these journals and you have like the small um, envelope that you can put over here in the front to open up, we could do that over here or we could do it over here. Um, we could have done it in here and still had a pocket. Um, but the way that I want to do it is I don't want to use an envelope. We're not going to use any envelopes. I'm going to take another piece of paper. I haven't decided which one yet, so let's see here. I don't know. 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 Huh. I don't know. Let me keep looking. I'm going to keep saying I don't know because I, I really don't know. Um, Alright, so let's try doing... Let's see. I'm thinking about what will look good. I think that will look good. That would probably look good rather than that. I think that would look better. So what I'm going to do with that is this envelope is, what did we decide here? Did we decide anything on this envelope? I don't know if we did. And I lost my ruler. Where did my ruler go? Interesting. <laughs> I, I buried it under here. Okay. So this one is uh, three and a half by six and a half. So let's do three and a half by six and a half. So I am going to do three and a half first. Oh, I'm going to cut off the branding strip because that's a pain. Okay. So let's do three and a half. Oh, you know what? I did that wrong. We need it to be four inches because we need to have room for a flap. So we'll save that piece. We'll do it. We'll use it somewhere else. So we're going to go. I'm sorry. We need to go. Whatever you decide to make it, you need to make it um, big enough that you can have a flap. So um, yeah, I think a half inch is enough. So we'll go ahead and go four. Okay, we're going to go four inches, and I'm going to do four inches on this other piece because we're going to use it twice. So, okay, and then what we're going to do is going to go ahead and go, what did we say that was again? Completely forgot. Completely forgot. By six and a half. Okay. Okay. So then we're going to go six and a half. Got to keep remembering to move my, this down so y'all can see. Okay, and of course save those little pieces. So we're going to go six and a half again. Did I do that right? I hope I did. Yeah, I do. Okay. Now we're going to take our scoreboard again. Or a ruler. When I say a ruler, you just would take a ruler and you measure how far, where you want to do it. And you can just use your scoring tool and go like that. That's all you do. But I like using my scoreboard. Um, and I'm going to go a half inch over so that I can have a flap because remember we did it just a half inch more 
So there's a half inch there. And let's see, my flap is going to go, this one's going to go here. Okay. And then, let's see, this other one, oh, I have it upside down. It has to go this way. Or wait, it goes this way. Right? Oh gosh, don't tell me I did it backwards. Well, it doesn't matter because this will go like that and then this will go that way. Okay, that's right. But, 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 I want it to go on the other side. So this is going to go, yeah, I got to do the flap on the other side for this one. I've got to do it on this side. And then this one, okay. So this has to go here. So I'm turning it the other way because I want the other side of the paper to show. That's the only reason. I could do a completely different, you know, side, but I think I think I want that. I don't know. I want to look at it again because it may not look the way I want it to. That's what's good about using coordinating papers too, though. Everything's gonna kind of go together. All right. Now, if it's everything is directional, you got to pay attention to what you're doing. Um, like, see how this had the music here, and then this had that. I just wanted to say that. Probably should have said that in the beginning. But okay, so this one is going to have this on there. Yeah, that's what I want. Okay, so that will go like that. Okay, good. Right. Now you could just put one flap on there and not do both, but I want to do both. So I'm going to put that there. Okay, so um, use your bone folder. Get it nice the way you want it. And on these I use glue um, just on the little flat part. Okay. Put some glue on there. And then you're going to put this where you want it. Um, I don't know. It doesn't have to be right in the middle. It can be toward the bottom. It could be anywhere you want. So you want to get that on there like that. Okay. So I would take my bone folder and go over it and get that extra glue out of there. Okay. Then on the other side, uh oh, I did it back. I did it upside down. <gasps> After I just said not to do that. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's not dry. Oh gosh, darn it. Okay, I did it wrong. Yeah, you got to pay attention if it's directional, which way you put it. Okay, that's going there. And then this one, this one is going to go there. Okay, there we go. It's in the right spot. I just did it, I did it, I did the wrong one on the wrong thing, and it's upside down. See how we have our music going this way and our other stuff going that way? And then, okay, so the, this, this has words on it. If it didn't have anything that was directional, I could it wouldn't have made any difference. Because it does, you have to pay attention to that. So I'm just going to put this right back where I had the other piece. So no loss. No biggie. You can make mistakes. And even if it messed it up, we could have fixed it. We're going to cover that up anyway. Okay, so there's our flap there. So now when we open it up, it goes like that, and then this is the back one, and then this one is going to go here, but it's going to go the other way. Uh-oh. Okay. Well, I did that wrong somehow. That has to go over here. Uh-oh. I must have mixed them up. What did I do? Oh, that should have gone over there. Mm, I see what I did. 
I see. Well, there's really not a way to fix that other than adding another flap. I think I really want that on there though. I think I'm going to go ahead and put this on like that. It's going to have the same, unless I can think of another way. Because this, otherwise this would end up upside down. I don't know that I like that either. Um, let me see if my other paper looks good with this. It might be a happy accident, guys, because, yeah, see? Then, it, then we get to do something different. That might work out better. So I'm going to actually make another piece like this and put it over here. I think I'm going to use the snowflakes. Um, so, move that over for a second. See, I put the little flap on the wrong side on that. I thought I was doing it right, but I guess I didn't pay attention to what I was doing. That's the problem when it's directional. You got it. Now, this one really isn't, so. But that's okay. All right, so we're going to go four by six and a half. Is that what we decided? I think that's what we decided, right? Yeah, six and a half by four. Okay, so let's go four. All right, and then we're going to go six and six and a half all right let's do that I think it's going to turn out better anyway because I really kind of didn't want them to be the same so this will make it even better do I want that or do I want that I think I definitely want that I want that okay so now we're going to take the scoreboard again leave all these other pieces over they're in the way I have a pile of stuff over here you can't see. All right, so now we're going to go a half inch again. All right, so let's do a half inch. See, this is what happens when you have real-time crafting. You get to see all the mistakes, which is good. I think people need to know that everybody makes mistakes. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and attach that to this. So that is going to go on this side, okay? And I'm just going to approximate it. It doesn't have to be perfectly in the middle, but all right. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, oh, but now you have that little flat part showing. But hey, we won't forever, okay? So we're going to go ahead and put that on, and I'm just kind of eyeballing it. It does not have to be in the middle. You could put it up or down. Okay. And if you watched my um, How to Make an Envelope journal, you will see that this looks very much like um, the envelope journal that we made. Okay. Um, so it has basically all of the kind of pieces. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and see where I have this. I'm going to go ahead and take some of my scrap pieces and I'm going to make like a side tuck on each one. Uh, let's see, which ones do I want to use on that? Do I want to use that? And then what's on the back? I'm looking at the pieces that I already have and I'm thinking, okay, so what do I want to do? What would look good? I think that would look really cute there. And I think this would look good there or this. This would look good too. But I think I'm going to use this, okay? Or I have this. I have the I have this too. But I think
think I'm going to use this. I'm going to use this. Okay. So, um, let's see. Do I want it that width? I want to make sure this is down so nothing gets stuck in there. I want to might want to make it a little less a little less a little less wide. So, why don't we go um and just do that. I'm going to cut all four of these cuz well, I might want to make pockets out of that. So, this is right at three and a half. So I'm going to make, or two and a half. I'm going to make it right at two inches. That way I can, and then measure this exactly. This is right at nine and a half. So we'll cut that too. So we're going to go right at two inches for this. All right, and then maybe we'll do another one here. Okay, and then we're going to go nine and a half on these so that we can have them the same size. So these are just our scrap pieces right here, and that doesn't include any other pieces that you may have that go with your paper. Um, you know, so anyway. All right, so that gives us three of them. And I'm going to go ahead and again, I'm going to notch these. I'm going to try and do it somewhat. In, well, I'm going to wait and see where they end up first. Let me try that. So this one we decided was going to be I think that looks good actually. I think I'm going to use that. I think I'll use that. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do that there. And then I'm going to do, I don't know, let's see. I don't want to put the same one. And I'll do that there. So we need a notch there and we need a notch there. Okay. So we're going to do that. And I'm just guesstimating. They're not going to be right next to each other, so you really wouldn't know if they were in the same place, but what the heck. Right? All right. So I'm going to put that right there, and it will cover this up. So we're going to go ahead and just put some glue right here. And of course, you could sew anywhere you want to sew on this, but I, this is going to be a no sewing, easy peasy. And if it seems like it's confusing or whatever, um, I made it more confusing, just, you know, go back and look at the uh, video and slow it down and, you know, just do that and you'll figure it out. All right, so that is going to go there. Make sure it's on there good. Right where it needs to be. Get the extra glue off of there. So that just made a little side tuck right there. And it covered up that little piece where the flap was, okay? And then we're going to do the same thing over here. I wonder if the red would look better. Nah, I think the green looks better. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do that. And I'm just, just using my glitter glue because it's a good glue when you're doing paper to paper. And then, let's see here, that is going to just go like that. Okay, there we go. Do that to get the extra glue out. Make sure it's not sticking out. It is a little bit right on that side. Okay, 
So then, um, let's see. We are in a situation here where we can always take some of our other um, papers and add pockets or anything that we want. Like here we have this. We could just put some pockets right across there or go like that. That's the same. But that would be kind of cool. So I am just going to mark this and then cut it right here because it's just a short distance. I can probably cut straight for that long. And I'm just going to do that. And I'm going to put that... No, I think I'm going to use that. I think that looks better. And I'm not going to put a notch in it because you can see that it's different. Um, I am going to fold it in the middle. So it bends better. Right? Make sure that goes in there good. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on. And so we're going to have two pockets there. And I'm just using the scraps. And I don't know, you know, it depends on how many pockets and things you want to put in there or so of what you'll need. But so far, you know, I'm still using um, the two pieces that we had, but I also use that other piece, so maybe a total of four. But you could get away with two pieces if you didn't, or, or three pieces, I'm sorry. Not, not two, three pieces of scrapbook paper. Um, okay, here we have um, two, two papers, like when it goes like that. I actually don't think that looks bad because you've got this other print there, but we could put this right there and that covers that up. I don't know if we have it anywhere else. Let's see. On the other side, um, let's see, we have that. See where the two come together right there? So, I think, and then we're going to have it there too. Um, I don't know. I don't actually think that looks bad like that. I actually like it, but I'm going to take this or this. Let's see. Um, I think this looks pretty good. All right, let's go through, and I'm going to figure out. I have got one more piece like this. Do I want to put that um, in the middle of the other one or on another page? Uh, basically, you're just going to go through and decide where you want pockets and tucks and good stuff like that. Um, because you're going to have papers in between here. So these two aren't going to be next to each other. Do I want that? Do I want this? I think I'm going to use this right here. And I actually think I'm just going to cut that in half. Where's my little cutter? I'll just use that. Um, just going to cut this in half, basically. I'm going to make two pockets out of it. Okay, just because, okay, so I've got that and that, and I might use the other side of this one. So I'm just going to make a few pockets to put in there, and you guys get the idea. I just want you to get the, I'm not going to finish the whole thing, I'm just going to let you see. what you can do and it's super easy guys and I bet you have some scrapbook paper lying around now as far as filling in the inside um, I would use either just regular paper that you have or um, let's see here 
Now let's see, I'm going to get these going the right way. So when I put a notch in these, and you really don't have to notch them because they're different colors, so people are going to know. You may have to cut these down a little bit because they're folding. You want to make sure, like this one looks okay. So I'm going to put that here, and I'm going to put a little notch. Do I want to do a different one up here? Let me see. No, I don't like that green on there next to the other green. What are my other choices, guys? i got to look and see. I don't have a lot of leftover paper for this um, paper pack, so... Um, boy, oh boy, I don't have much. I have some from some others that might work, but... Oh, here we go. I got one over here. This would work. I got a few. Not that many, though. I have just really, really done a good job last year. I tried really hard to um, use some of the stuff that I had. Um, let's see. That would work. And that would work. But I, I'm trying really hard just to use the stuff I have. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and make a pocket for here. And then make a pocket for here. Okay? You're not going to see those two. They're not going to be next to each other. Boy, oh boy, did I cut that down crooked. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. I'm going to take it in here and straighten it out a little bit. Okay, now I want to go ahead and, is that one too wide? Yeah, a little bit. Just a tiny bit, just a notch, just a tiny bit. It's a little bit too wide for this in order for it to fold. Because you don't want it in, you don't want to put your pocket in a little crease there. So, yeah, I probably want to do that one too. So I'm going to do that. All right, so then, and you can ink these two guys, you know, just put a little ink on them. Just to, because I am going to go around and ink all this stuff up. I'm just not doing it now because I don't want to bore everybody. But before I glue this down, I probably need to ink it. I should have done my little side pockets too, but you know, hey. Do I like that better here? Do I like that better there? I think I do. All right, okay. So I'm just going to put these little pockets on. All right. And then, you know, if you have coordinating paper, which is so great, is you can make little tags, all kinds of fun stuff to put in there. All right, let's put that in there. Okay. And here, we could put another little thingamajiggy. Could put that there. That'd be cute. Right? Why don't we do that? So we're going to do a notch in the middle. Yeah, see, this is what I should have done on the other ones. You can still ink stuff after the fact, but you know what? It's harder. <laughs> so. All right, so that's going to go right there. See, there's our fold, so I'm going to put that right there. And it helps cover that up, too. But I don't know that that matters that much, but, you know. And basically, that's all you do at this point, guys. You go through the whole thing, and you add pieces to where you have pockets and stuff like that. Um...
so I'm doing this. Don't go over your fold because if you do then you won't be able to open and close it. Okay, so there's another little side tack that we did. Um, got one there. Got two pockets there. We could put another pocket here. Make that a little bit smaller. Anyway, it is super easy to do this, guys, and then you can easily make a journal out of this in no time. I'm not going to do them all with you because I want to basically just give you the idea. Um, So we've got another pocket there, we go in there, got a side tuck there, and we could put another side one there. Let's just do that at nine inches. And we'll go ahead and do this one too while we're at it. How much time? We don't have much time. Okay, so we're going to do this two inches, right? two inches and then I would go nine and a half isn't it what we decided and then we're gonna go two inches So anyway, you get the gist of what we're doing here, and it's pretty darn easy. Um, you do not have to make it as large as this. You could make it smaller if you wanted to. Um, I think I like this there. I like that. Um, just because then you have to add, you know, quite a few papers. It depends on, you know, you could make it. I don't know, three signatures. You don't have to add papers to all of these spots either. So I'm going to show you that real quick before we are done because I don't want you to not know where to add the paper. Um, I didn't ink this up either, so i got to do that. But you want to, oh, I was going to do it on that side. Oh, well, that's okay. I completely forgot. All right. It doesn't matter. They all go together. So um, let me show you that real quick, okay? So what you want to do if you're going to, let me see if I have any papers to put in there. I don't know if I do. Isn't that funny? Um, here, I'll just get some of these to give you an idea. Okay, so what you're going to do now is if you um, want to add your signatures in here, and you do not have to add signatures to every part of this. You don't have to add pockets to every part of it. I mean, you basically can go through and add what you want, where you want, okay? Um, this one we have something on every one. This side we don't. We don't have anything over, well, that's the only part we don't I guess is right here. So I don't know, I mean we could put something right there. But you don't have to, I mean. So the bottom line is either side can be the front. It doesn't matter, you pick what you want. Um, I think I like, it depends on what I put on front, okay? So you could take your stickers that you have. Um, what did I do with all of them? 
they're down here somewhere okay let's just say you put that on there okay and then maybe you take your Santa I don't know if I want to waste it but I'll go ahead and just try it and maybe you put him on here okay and then you could put that there and that could be your front okay um, and then you could go through and then on the back you could put something else you could put well, that ain't gonna work I need something more solid and we'll go like about right here but let's just say you added something to the back okay and you could add this to the front I don't know I wonder if that would look better like that can't really see it then huh put this stuff down so you can see because I don't know for sure that I want to do that but we're gonna just kind of ab lib it so you guys can see what we're doing right there we go Boy, this is terrible glue stick. <laughs> I didn't want it to stick permanently, but I want it to stick a little bit, right? Okay. All right. Anyway. So, and then what you're going to do is you're going to take your papers, and I'm folding them um, twice because they're, you know, they're not the right size. But anyway, let me get some more papers so I can kind of sure to show you it's one two three and I need two more oh come on I don't have very many full-size pieces of paper in here so let's see four and you definitely do not have to put this many signatures in you can leave some of them just blank and have pockets in them and stuff like that. Okay. Four. There you go. So you would have either this is the front with a pocket right here. Okay. Then you open it up and you're going to have a signature with all of your um, papers in there however many you put I would put about five at the most then you're going to have another signature you've got a pocket there on the other side of it you've got another pocket then you open it up and you've got another little side pocket and a signature here side pocket there and then you're to the back and you've got a little side pocket here and your little flippy thing and of course you can put you could put papers in here you could take papers and actually have them um, sticking out the front. You could have the you could have papers right there and have them like that too. I mean, there's no rule that says you can't do that, and a lot of people do do that. So, if you wanted to, you could do that, and then you have your um, little pocket here. You've got a you know pocket here, your signature, another signature there, and you're back up to the front. Okay, so that is basically how you make a flip flop journal out of um, you know three three pieces really. Of if I didn't mess this up, it would have been three pieces um, of um, cardstock. So let's just say four. Okay. And you, that will give you all the pockets and everything that you need. And then I would just add, you could add digital papers. You can add just uh, coffee dyed papers. You can do however you want to do it. I mean, you could just uh, dye some green papers and red papers and do whatever you want to do to put in your journal. But you could make a really cute little Christmas journal, um, flip-flop journal, just like that. And you know fill it up as much as you want to so and it has the same effect as using um, as using um, what do you call it uh, 
envelopes. Now, if you wanted to reinforce all of these little pieces, um, which I don't think on the cardstock you really need to do, I do think you need to do that on envelopes. Um, you could definitely take some washi tape and I've got a lot of different washi tape here, so um, you could definitely take some washi tape and put it right, you know, in all the little joints and reinforce it, you know, and just go through like that. And that would, you know, reinforce all of them. Um, if you're not going to be sewing in anything, I don't know that I would mess with that. Um, if you're going to do that, maybe you want to do it just in these little joints where you're adding, um, you know, wherever you're adding, um, what do you call it? Uh, signatures you might want to go in and do that like I have think this would go better but anyway you get the idea so you basically would just go in where all your joints are and add some washi tape and if you have some decorative Christmas washi tape that would make it look kind of cute and go through all those joints and just add your washi tape if you're going to sew a signature in here because it does reinforce it um, I don't know. Just If you're going to put a lot of pages and stuff, maybe you might want to do that. I think if you're using cardstock, you're probably good to not have to do that. But the washi tape is just an added added um, strengthening. And also, too, it, it decorates it, too. I mean, you have another decorative part of it. So anyway, that's all I have for today. And um, I will be back with another process video next week um, so check it out try it you might like it now of course you don't have to do just Christmas with this you could do the same process with any other um, cardstock that you have so even a file folder all right take care we'll see you again next time bye bye